Hey everybody, it's Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ along with my friend Raglan Jones, product manager for Chauvet DJ. We are so excited today to bring to you brand new lighting technology called ILS, Integrated Lighting System. Raglan, you have been the main man in the development of this system. What is ILS? So like you said, Jeff, ILS stands for Integrative Lighting System. And this is a completely new technology that we're doing at Chauvet DJ. It allows you to create a coordinated show amongst multiple different fixture types, something that has never been done before. And it's all being controlled by this new Gig Bar Move Plus ILS. So let's start right there with the Gig Bar Move Plus ILS. As you guys all know, the Gig Bar family of products is among the most popular in the whole Chauvet DJ catalog. The Gig Bar Move Plus ILS does not replace the Gig Bar Move, it's in addition to it. So it's a brand new member of an ever-growing family of pack-and-go systems in the Gig Bar series. So Raglan, walk us through what's different here about the Gig Bar Move Plus ILS. So let's start with the moving head. We went from 10 watt all the way up to 32 watt. We also redesigned the housing of the moving head so it looks similar to our current uh, intermediate line of products. Uh, moving in, the PARS has been upgraded to hex color, Derby's has been moved up to quad color, and the strobes in the bar has been bumped up to 5 watt with a bigger um, lens that gives you a more tight beam so in fog you can see them coming at you. And on top you have a RGB fat beam laser. So all the features that we've known and loved about the Gig Bar series but super powered here in the Gig Bar Move Plus yes. ILS. Yes. Raglan, you said this is the first time that a technology has been able to control multiple fixtures of different kinds. We know that we've always been able to do that through DMX programming, mm -hmm. but one of the advantages of the ILS technology is that it doesn't use DMX programming, so users don't have to get involved in that learning curve or in that programming time. But what about master-slave? Haven't we also been able to do fixtures of different kinds? So traditionally, when you're doing master-slave, you have to have all of the same fixture type for it to link together and sync and do the exact same thing. With this, it is doing a master slave type program, but it's allowing you to control multiple different fixture type at the same time. So Raglan, let's get into exactly how this system works. Starting with the brains of it all, the Gig Bar Move Plus ILS, what settings do we need to set on the menu here to be able to transmit the ILS signal? Okay, so first thing you need to decide what connection option you're going to go with. Uh, you can do the old school way with hardwired DMX. Now if you're doing wirelessly, the first thing you want to do is go into the menu, make sure your DeFi setting is on, and you want to set your transmit channel. Once that's done, you want to go back to your auto or sound program and set the gig bar move in that, in that setting. So that's sending it wirelessly, but you said you can also do it conventionally through wired DMX system of connection in which case you would go out of the gig bar move and just directly into your first fixture and then daisy chain from there correct okay so we've talked about the settings on the gig bar move plus ILS which is half the equation now we have to figure out how we set the settings on these units which are all ILS compatible fixtures correct it's very simple Jeff so each fixture has a USB port which takes the DeFi USB stick from Chauvet um, first, and those are, those are sold separately? Sold separately. So okay. Let me make that clear. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you set your receive channel on your DeFi USB stick. Make sure your channel matches the transmit channel that you set on your gig bar move. Then you want to plug that into your fixture. Next step is scroll through the menu of your fixture until you see ILS comes on the screen. You want to go in there and you want to pick your ILS mode. Okay, Raglan, so let's talk about ILS modes. You talked about setting the fixture to a certain ILS mode, of which there are four. Now, the concept here is, imagine if you will, you have a number of fixtures throughout an event space, some on this side of the room, some on this side of the room. You may want this side of the room to respond just to one half of what the Gig Bar Move Plus ILS is doing, because in some of the programs, the Gig Bar splits itself into more dynamic and diverse ping-ponging of effects. So you may want that side of the room to respond to this side of the gig bar and vice versa. Well, with ILS modes, you can do that. If I have this right, Raglan, modes one and three respond to the left side of the gig bar move plus ILS as you're looking at it. Right. And modes two and four 
respond to the right side of the gig bar move. Now, if the gig bar move plus ILS is all doing the same thing, then the mode sort of becomes a moot point. The ILS compatible fixtures are gonna do what the brain tells it to do. But in those more dynamic circumstances, you have that ability to kind of split them up with choosing the correct ILS mode. The Gig Bar Move Plus ILS also comes with this new RF remote. Raglan, tell us about this. So like you said, Jeff, this is a RF remote, not IR. So you don't have to be uh, in line of sight and you don't have to be at a certain distance for this to work. You can be across the room, walking around the room, and you'll still have full control over your Gig Bar. Nice. So one cool thing about this remote, you have the option to pair this remote to your Gig Bar so no one else if there's anyone else in the room that may have an RF remote, it could interfere with your gig bar. Another cool feature about this remote is you have full manual control over each individual effect. Wow. So for example, if you don't want the movie heads on, by the pressing of a button, you can turn them off and your show will continue. That's fantastic. And the whole idea is what the gig bar is doing, your other fixtures are doing as well. Even the moving heads are moving in coordination. Correct, everything will be in sync. And it all can be controlled right from the palm of your hand with this new remote. Exactly. An important thing to remember about these products is that they're ILS compatible. That means they're new versions. They're not versions of products that you may already have in your arsenal. Now that doesn't mean that you can't use the products that you have in traditional master-slave configurations that will work as they've always worked. It's just that with the ILS technology specifically, coming wirelessly from the Gig Bar Move plus ILS, you would need ILS compatible versions of these fixtures. There's a great number of them right now, and it's an ever-growing ecosystem, so you will see more and more fixtures over time that are ILS compatible. So to add to your point, Jeff, even though these fixtures are brand new with ILS, they're still the same fixtures you know and love. They still have the same built-in automated program, sound mode, they work exactly the same. They just have the ability to now work with the Gig Bar Move ILS. Okay, Raglan, we've got everything synced, connected. The DeFi USB sticks are receiving wireless signal from the Gig Bar. Let's see this thing in action. So like you said, Jeff, everything is set up right now. As you can see, the unit is frozen. Uh, there's a freeze button on the remote. I have that selected right now. So the Gig Bar is an automated program. So once I hit this freeze button, you're gonna see everything start synchronizing and working together. The PARS is following the PAR on the gig bar. The Kinta is following the Kintas on the gig bar. So you can go from an auto program on the gig bar move plus ILS, which is what's set up right now, mm -hmm. and it's just running through this particular auto program. Correct. You can also do a sound active mode on the gig bar move plus ILS, correct? And all of the fixtures would then follow what that's doing. Exactly, they'll get the sound from the gig bar and everything will follow along instantly. So there's not a delay because each unit is listening through its own microphone depending on where it is in the space. Exactly, you won't have that problem. That's perfect. And could you also have a DMX programmed light show if you wanted to connected through the gig bar move plus ILS and then have that feed through the system? No, you cannot do that. So the, the ILS ecosystem, it works through Master Slave, through the auto and sound program on the gig bar. So as you can see, the possibilities with the integrated lighting system really are endless. This is new ways to get your party in sync, fast, easy, not mired down in any DMX programming. This is the future of easy lighting control, and it really is how lighting comes together. Raglan, thanks for walking us through this system, and we hope you're excited to discover more about the ILS ecosystem. Good luck, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.